All right, guys, welcome. So um, we're going to be continuing No One Survived today, but uh, yet last episode, it was kind of my first introduction in a game. We were trying to learn it. We we're trying to see what the game was all about. And I, I got to be honest with you guys. It's pretty cool. It it's, it's like a mashup of... Uh, like a zomboid with like state of decay. Um, it, it's a, it's the, cl it's scum. It like resembles a lot of those games. I would say it's probably the closest game to zomboid I've seen in a really long time that has like third person, um, you, cause zomboid is an isometric game. A lot of people don't like zomboid just because of that fact. But honestly, I would say this is probably the closest game I've seen so far that has that zomboid feel to it, which is really, really nice in my opinion. Uh, so what I decided today was I, I wanted to change up some of my settings. I wanted to see if I can get more zombies to spawn. Um, I went ahead and altered the, the day length. I made it 90 days, like state of decay instead of the 45 minutes that it was, um, when I tweaked a few of the settings just to see how things would uh, plan out, pan out for us, I just randomized the character. I think we're playing as a female. I named her Jill. Uh, but yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting, side. So we're starting here, fresh start, um, and we're we're gonna try to play this one for real. I did lower the loot. Uh, I had the loot on normal before, and I felt like there was still a lot of loot, so I went and put it on scarce. And I'm gonna see how much we're gonna regret that decision. Uh, once we get into the game, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited guys. This is a really, really good game. Um, in my opinion, it's a lot of fun. It's not that expensive. I don't remember. I, I bought it back when it first came out. I don't know how much it costs right now, but, um, uh it's definitely fun. It's definitely a good time. So if, remember, if you guys want this to be a full series, if you want to see more of it, all you got to do is subscribe, smash that like button, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought, and uh, we'll definitely keep this game going, guys. We'll keep the game going. So, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the real deal, guys. All right. Oh, okay, they spawned me in with no clothes on. Okay, so we're going to start off for... Real quick, um, get my hands on some stone. I got to lower my sensitivity. One sec, uh, mouse sensitivity. Okay, so we're going to grab some stones and some sticks. Oh, I, and like I said, I swapped the map over to the other one just just to keep things fresh. I mean, eventually, I I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna check out both maps, um, but as of right now, I just wanted it to, to be uh, a bit different from last episode, so it's a little more. <clears throat> yeah, so this is a, we we started over. Um, my character uh, on my other world, I believe, still exists, uh, but I wanted to I wanted to play with the new settings, um, world settings, and you can't change your world settings once you start a game. So uh, we had to do a, a a start over, but it's all good. It's last episode was us just kind of get getting our head wrapped around how things work. Okay, here we go. So. Chris, thank you, thank you for the gifted. I appreciate you, man. Seriously. Chris John, thank you, thank you for the gifted. And then Chris Pass, thank you for the super chat. How are you doing today, brother? Hope everybody's having a great day. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to do a stone axe. And I'm going to do a wooden spear. Okay, and then... We'll roll with this for right now. Try to get my hands on some of the fibers here. Okay, so we're going to get some of the Basics crafted up right now. I'm going to go ahead. We'll do a bow. And then we'll get some arrows going. And uh, we should be good to go to push into town. Or try to find an, an area where we can uh, get some clothes, some loot. Okay. 
Uh, John, how you doing? I, again, I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out today. I hope everybody's been having a great day, evening. Uh, we got some really crappy weather where I am, so if I lose power, guys, I, I apologize. All right, so we're going to do... Some, we'll just do as many arrows as we can. I would craft a pickaxe. Um, I mean, I could craft the pickaxe. I, I think the pickaxe, does it go in the same small slot as the regular axe? So that's the only thing I'm worried about is inventory space. Let's see. Does the pick go into the small slot? Oh, how would, what would I rate? So I'd put this game at an easy seven right now. Easy. Yeah, so that's what yeah, we can't do a pickaxe because it doesn't fit in the small slot. And I don't have a backpacker inventory right now, so. Uh, but yeah, the game is quite enjoyable. Um, where it stands right now, I, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. And I've, I had I barely dug into it, you know what I mean, guys? We we barely scratched the surface of what this game has to offer. We had people in the comments saying like, "Yeah, dude, the game has so much depth, and there's so much going on." Like once you really get into it, so. Any advice to feel more comfortable playing on mouse and keyboard? Just doing it. Um, yeah, it just takes a lot of practice. Uh, it took me. I remember when I first started playing on mouse and keyboard. Um, it. Instantly, I, I was like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't like this. Um, I, I went and bought myself a controller, and I was playing on a controller for about three years. Um, until I finally started feeling okay with mouse. Uh, and I mean, I would say only the past maybe four years, I've actually felt semi-comfortable on mouse and keyboard. But it just takes time. Time and repetition. Okay. So we're right here to the south. We got a merchant above us. We're gonna go ahead and scout this area out. We see so we got some zombies here. I know you guys are sitting here staring at my poor lady. She's over here fending. Holy shit! Okay, so yeah, we cranked up the zombie spawns, and I think it might have worked, guys. What would you say? <laughs> And like I said, I did lure the lower the loot scarcity. So, ooh, he must have got him. Okay, so there's like some resources in here, but nothing we need right now. Cake face with the 22. Thank you so much. We'll grab these strawberries. We're going to need some food. Uh, we can also eat this. Okay. Cucumber seeds. Got something weird off that zombie pathogen. I have no clue what that is. Um, been a lurker lately. Uh, Happy New Year. It's all good. Cake face, I appreciate the love. Um, yeah, New Year's been good so far. January's already flying by. So we're finding stuff, just not stuff we need. Damn.
before it's get closer. Really not recovering any of these damn arrows, unfortunately. Nothing. So as you guys can see, there's already a pretty big difference in the amount of zombies spawn for sure. Okay, hopefully we'll get lucky, get something out of here. Uh, but Chris, thank you, thank you again for the super chat. Said started playing Wolfenstein Old Blood. Yeah, I've not. That's the one I haven't played yet. I. I played uh, Wolfenstein, um, Colossus, something, and the other one. But yeah, I haven't played Old Blood yet. I do own it, though. Damn, there's a lot of zombies over there. I might have messed up, chat. I might have messed up, dude. Shit. Okay, I'm bleeding. Um, see, can I craft a bandage? Yep. Yeah, I've seen somebody saying it's easier to get uh, headshots in first person. 
Um, I prefer playing the playing the game in third person. Obviously, third person is my favorite camera view. Um, and I know third person's a bit easier to watch for a majority of uh, viewers. We're going to go in this house over here. So a lot of people are asking what happened to my character from before. Um, I wanted to change up some of the world settings, hence the severely increased amount of zombies. Um, loot scarcity. Uh, but in, for me to do that, I had to start a new game. Okay, first aid kit. Definitely need that. Drop that stick down for right now. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this bow for right now. And we'll double spear it right now. Because the uh, arrows are a bit of an upkeep right now that I don't want to mess around with. So we're just going to use two spears. They spawned us in with no clothes. It was the same way when we were playing with the other character, too, but we were playing with a guy, so it was less noticeable, I guess. Oof, okay, that scarce loot is... Feeling it a little bit. Definitely take the simple parts, grab the plastic. Probably gonna have to make one of those improvised backpacks. Industrial battery. Shoulder light. So we can equip that shoulder light. Nothing. Big house right here. But there's some glowy, smoky green zombie out front that I don't want any smoke.
I'm gonna need another stick. Get another spear. fucking die. We're bleeding again. Quite bad. Good to go there. So I got some health back. There it is, guys. So where are we this time? Now we're a bit north. Yeah, stealth doesn't seem like it's much of a thing. The zombies definitely spot you regardless of what you're doing. Is it like Zomboid where you have to like build up your stealth skill or some shit? Found some... Yeah, I lost everything that we just had on us. It's all gone. Yeah, so we can eat that. It's not much... So we got two spears. Yeah, <laughs> I need clothes for sure. It's hard. We can't even stay alive. Long enough to loot. I, I, I went ahead and I maxed out the zombie spawns. Like, 
And as you guys can see, that was pretty ridiculous. Uh, ever played Lost Planet? No, I don't. I've never heard of that one before. Well. We would have been good with all those zombies, but I freaking backed myself into the building. Nice, so we got an axe. A real one. It's crazy, I'm only running like 10% sprinters, man, and I feel like a lot more than 10% of these damn zombies are freaking sprinters. Yo, is this drivable? Oh, it is. Okay. Needs fuel. Okay, so let's see where we are on the map. So we got, we know we got a car up here in this area. Got a town across the water here. Look at that. Ten percent my ass, dude. Maybe 10% of the zombies are not sprinters. Oh, we could set off an alarm doing that. That sprinter count down like two percent. I uh, got some beer. Okay, we got to come up with a game plan on where we're going to go from here. Um, I could push down to this area, which I have no clue what the hell that is. But I feel like maybe we can get something out of here. Kids are crazy, man. Hmm. 
Probably not worth grabbing right now, honestly. I mean, it's not a bad gun. We just... Obviously, ammo isn't a factor right now, so... It's like, I get a gun, but that, what, what can I do with it, really? You know what I mean? Let's keep heading south. See what this big area... Oh, oh we could... Actually, let's cut down this road here. We'll see what that's at the end here, and then we'll push down south through the woods. How big is my, my monitor? Uh, uh, 48 inches. Yeah, I yeah, have 48 inch. Yeah, I'm on the original map this time, just to give this one a go to. Potato seeds, wheat seeds. Cotton seeds. Simple parts, definitely want those. Got some ore. Here we go. Got a little bit of food there. I could use my axe as a weapon, but I don't want to waste the durability on it right now. Oh, the spears are very, very cheap to craft. Yeah, the spears are very, very cheap, and they're good, so... Oh, I got what I wanted. I wanted more zombies. It's kind of those, one of those be careful what you wish for situations. Damn, another shotgun. need a toolbox at some point to get the workshop set up. I 
Another toolbox. Rubber and plastic. Clothing repair kit. <laughs> I have not played multiplayer yet. No, this is my uh yesterday last the other day when we played it was our first like look at the game period. Um and then this is just my second time. So no, we haven't tried multiplayer yet. Now, one of the good things, uh, if you guys are interested in this game, um, some people are, and I, I, I learned this with State of Decay, actually. Some people love zombie games, but hate special infected zombies. They hate zombies that are just not your standard. <laughs> this guy, you know, if they shoot shit, if they're fat, like, you know, like people don't like it. Um... You can turn the special infected off in this game. You can turn the sprinters off. You can make them just 100% walkers um, and everything. So, yeah, if you're not a fan of special infected, you can turn them off. Big area here. Holy crap, dude. Let's see what we can get out of this place. Curry, it's taking thinking for this super chat, man. Very generic. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be generic. This is a, It's not a high-quality, expensive AAA title at all, Courage. This game is... Uh... The sounds in this game are very generic. The birds sound like a car alarm. You are barefoot but sound like you are running in cowboy boots. Yeah, this is not a top-tier, super high-quality game by any means. It's just one of those, like, indie-developed uh, zombie survival games. And But it's a pretty damn good one, you know what I mean, in my opinion. Well, it's got low textures, you know, the graphics aren't as great as it could be, obviously. But for what it is, it's it's a lot of fun. Hmm. Okay, so we got handful over here. I'm gonna need to make another spear. But Courage, thank you, thank you for the love. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day today. Sprinter. Yeah, definitely ten percent ten percent sprinters was uh a bit much, guys.
Now we need eight of these and I'll be able to craft myself a, uh, a backpack. The game's for sure got some jank, but like I said, it, it's to be expected with games like this. Working for it, dude. Getting a lot of teeth. No, uh, no fabric, though. Fabric. Ooh, big guy over there. Screw that. We already. Let's keep it moving, guys. That big guy's no joke. Cut down around and come back through the other way. Got that shoulder light on, um, but I don't have any batteries in it, so. No flashlight for us. build a torch. I don't know if the torch is a good weapon, though. Lots of ore and stuff like that, but... So the shoddy we have is better.
Okay, so we got a little bit of food, uh, water, we got a little bit of drink. This area here doesn't seem like it's going to really net us anything that we we need at the moment. Yeah, that was actually a pretty cool animation. Hmm. I think I see what people mean about the map. It doesn't seem like there's that many areas on this map. You know what I mean? Like towns and stuff, it does seem quite sparse compared to the other map that had like really big cities. This map does seem a bit more, it seems smaller and it seems like there isn't a whole lot of Populated areas like that. It's one fourth the size of the new map. I mean, maybe we'll switch back over to the new map. So, because the thing is, is once I get settled in, I don't want to switch the. I don't want to change the. Start a new game again. But yeah, just looking over this map, it does look not as good. So yeah, maybe we'll switch over to the other map before we get too invested in this one. Uh, we, have, we don't have anything. Obviously, we already died, so it's not a big deal. So you, she had close here, and then I, I went to hit. I went to hit start game, and then what the hell. So map one is the new one, right? No starter kit. Zombie wave attack. I made 10 days. Zombies. We're going to crank those up again. The Lord of Sprinters down to 5%. Or 6% is as low as it can go. I want to keep the zombies on high. With no loot respawn, you could start for a resource on a small map. Yeah, that's what I was... So it's a good thing we went to. Uh, oh, let me try another. I took the freaking guy in the but realistic, and that is what. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, can you? S this is uh. Hold on one sec, guys. This is what that guy did. Uh-uh. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. He knows. He, I don't know how he does it, but. Mm. All right. So here we go, guys. The last fresh start that we will need. Grab some sticks. Spear it up. Yeah, the new map is this map is huge. Um I was I was very, very surprised how big 
this map was. Okay, so we just spawned in the middle of nowhere all the way to the south. So it looks like we have a town or something right here in the corner of G7 that we can make our way to. Also a merchant here. Let's see what this merchant sells, just so we know. Yeah, this special ore here. Let's see if we can do some mining and stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh! Okay, so they got nice guns for barter. Optics, attachments. Some nice stuff. Okay, so let's remember. Uh, G7, G8, vendor, gun vendor. Okay, so this is where I spawned last time. Down, in, I'm a bit south from where I was. I, I went over here to these cabins. That was where the motel was. That's where I got the armor. But we're gonna head. We'll head direct east or west. We'll search that place, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, the scale of this map is way different. This is huge. We based up here in D5 last time on the outskirts of this big city. It's a bigger city up north, too. But those are, like, way, way out of reach. Keep my eyes open, because we did do a little foraging on the other map. Um, so I don't know if there's, like, a bunch of edible bushes or what bushes you can eat or whatnot. So we're going to... Yeah, like this. This is one of the bushes we could eat. What did you put? Mm. I got it. Okay. Halfway there, Jesus. Oh, this is as far as hell. Okay, finally, could see something from here. Yeah, we definitely got to get a car working. That that was uh, my goal for today. But now that we're starting over, we'll, we'll have to kind of see how established we can get. It's looking like we got some kind of farm here in the distance. Yo, the, the, yeah, the scale of this map is way huge. Because that's just this little area down there. But you look at that that brown spot here, that, that is massive. You look at it on the map, and it's just this tiny little thing here. 
So yeah, we're gonna check that, and then there's a. It seems like there's a town to the south too. So car repair kits, can you only get them from vendors? You can't loot them or craft them? I found a normal tool kit, um, but not like a repair kit for cars. Loot from bandit camps. What do you mean bandit camps? There's bandits in the game? Sent three. All right, I'll check him. Sigada. Uh, big thing of cider. Yeah, the teeth are used for bounties. Like, you claim them and, the, ooh. You go turn them in, uh, and you can, like, get stuff for uh, all of the zombies you killed. At least that's what I've seen from the trader menu. Crucible. Probably pretty useful later on. Electric wire, cement. No, no, no. That sounds like anything I need at the moment. <laughs> oh, shit. We got one of them explodey dudes. We ain't messing with that, dude. Yeah, the, that those things are fast and tanky as hell. Yeah, I'm starting to appreciate that little that armor fight. I was like, oh, it wasn't a big deal. No, that armor that we found was a pretty big deal. Seeing as I'm running around in my skivvies right now. But we're checking this build. Some kind of build in here. I don't know what this is. Military base.
Balti, wasn't it you that asked if there was a military base last time? Oh, man. A lot of zombies. Holy shit, it's thick. God damn. I don't think we're gonna be able to lose these guys like that. My stamina is terrible right now. Oh deer! Found some wildlife, man. A lot of deer. There's like three of them over there. I'm just gonna chase me to the end of time, aren't they, dude? Holy crap, we found a lot of wildlife down here. Bleed it out. Damn. Yo, this shit is. It's the real deal, guys. So, what did we learn? Military base. The 
It's not where you want to go when you're running around in your undies. Get some basic equipment. We're not going to rush right now. Take our time. We're going to go hit that same motel location that we went to before. This, at this rate, chat, the whole episode is going to be us just running around in our underwear. Guess we were celebrating. <laughs> See, but I I tried to spice it up, so I figured I figured if I was gonna if I was gonna pick up rocks and sticks, cast me cast me, I'd do it in my underwear. Make it a bit more entertaining for you guys, right? That was that was the plan. My strategy. All right, let's get this. Get the axe done. And then throw that there. Uh, throw that down there, that there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do... See how that works. Perfect. <laughs> totally jacked up. How you doing? It's good to see you, brother. Alright, so we got that done up. Um, and now the bow can't go in any other slots, unfortunately. So we'll do the wooden spear. Okay, so we got the spear, we got our axe, which is already super, super damaged. Now we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of arrows, and I'm going to actually do a bandage. Oh, I can't do bandage. Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna craft up a bunch of arrows. So I wanna go into this um motel area when I'm gonna be able to wanna be able to kill anything we run into. Have I watched the anime Blue Eyed Samurai? I've not, Caspi, and if you're recommending an anime, dude, I'll definitely check it out, bro. What is it on? I usually watch all my stuff on like Crunchyroll, some stuff on Hulu, but Okay, we're going to have to pick up a few more sticks.
Yeah, I hope that I hope the big guy's not down there again. That would be uh kind of unfortunate. I don't know if those spawns are like set, like there will be one of those guys there, because that was that will actually suck, dude. Is that Netflix? Okay, cool, cool. Okay, let's get these arrows finished. My question, the stone knife, what would that even be good for? Is it a good weapon or you need it as a tool for something? Oh, totally, brother. You did not have to do that, man. Dropping the 10 gifted on the channel. But holy shit, dude. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam. Make sure you get those hearts in the chat. And Johnny with the super chat. Uh, what's up with the two piece her cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Here's five bucks for a sundress and some jeans. I know I'm gonna I'm I'm get some clothes, guys. The game. Every time I try to go somewhere to get clothes, we're getting killed. Have we found any clothing yet? Where did she just put that? We don't. Yeah, she just tucks it in the in her underwear. The elastic band. Seriously, Johnny, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love, dude. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, we can do four more arrows. We'll do four more arrows, and that'll give us, what, 27 arrows? Should be enough to deal with anything we need to do, we're, uh, deal with for the most part. Oh, easy. What the hell, guys? Thank you. Dropping t uh, you also dropping 10 Thank you for the love, man. You get clothes with the starter kit? Yeah, the starter kit is... It was a lot, man. That That's why I ended up just turning it off. It... We we spot we scouted out the starter kit last episode, and it was it was just broken. Bro. What's up with the two-piece? Her cheeks are about to devour those bottoms. Here's five bucks for a sundress and some jeans, lol. <laughs> now, we'll follow this road down. Or we actually will cut this way. But easy and totally, guys. I, I appreciate both of you guys out here showing that love to the community, hooking people up with the gifted memberships, man. It's, it's really, really awesome. See, Jeff, I wanted to be real cheeky. You know, I could have... I, I didn't mean it as in, like, cheeky. Like, you know what I mean. I meant it in, like, the British term, okay? I'm not... All right? You guys know what I mean? But I, I was going to say, if I wanted to be real cheeky, I could have... I, I would have put it on the thumbnail, but I wasn't trying to... I wasn't trying to debate people in the, watching the video. Uh, stone knife, cut deer meat, and uh, weapon. Go 
go back to the army base? <laughs> yeah, right. That place was unbelievably packed with zombies. I'm worried that this uh, motel is going to be packed with zombies. I went ahead and I cranked the zombie spawns up to the maximum. And, uh, yeah, there's a big difference, guys. A big difference between 0.5 and 3. 3 might even be a little excessive. Yeah, we're almost there. Wonder if we can go out to that boat there. You see that boat out in the water? No, oh, I think there might be like a, a thing that hasn't spawned in right there. This, yeah, I think that boat's up against like that pier. But I just think that we can't see the pier. So this motel was where we got the hook up last time. We'll see. We're, we're going to be able to gauge how clutch of a find that armor was. So those of you guys who played this game, <laughs> um, was that armor find that I got last episode? Was that actually like a big deal? Okay, we got some food right here in that little farm area. I want to try to grab some of that first. That's priority. Damn, that big guy is here, guys. Dude, inhaling the shit out that water, dude. Yo, it seems like you could use the water to actually escape zombies. We got a car. Shit, one of them spitter dudes. There it is.
Oh. Maybe we can barter some of this stuff to that trader up for some, uh, for some clothes. Right, we're going to start by searching these little, uh, sheds here, see if we can get ourselves anything. Flop. Alcohol. Damn, simple parts are so necessary. store stuff in the car trunk that's actually not a bad idea oh we got a small battery yeah we could actually do that be a little base of operations keep those on us for right now What do I think makes up the simple parts? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like screws, bolts, things like that. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to store stuff up. If anything, we could build like a little bed uh, over here somewhere and build like a little... A little base We've got some trees and water and it seems like on the edge of this area here it's it's relatively safe can you chop furniture I don't know if you can break down no, I don't think you can. Shit is damaging my weapon, though. Nice. Some adrenaline. Oh, okay, so that's stamina. We need to run away. We pop one of those. I thought it was, uh, at first I thought it was going to be, okay, antibiotics. So we got antibiotics and adrenaline. Another bandage. Bandage. Okay, so we got some medical supplies. Seven six two. Let's see if we find that armor again. What are the chances, dude? No. 
Did I find it in this first room? I don't remember what room I found it in. The only thing I, uh, the only advice I'd give uh, for the devs is they need to fix stealth. Because people are saying that stealth isn't a thing, really. Oh, I did find the helmet. So maybe this is just where you need to come for this freaking armor, guys. It's a little weird, though, having this helmet and then just... The... Yeah. Yeah. Floppy, brother, how you doing? Thank you for the raid, man. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a great night. Doping. Okay, so it's for stamina. Forty four mag. Let's go. Good drop. Seriously, guys, I appreciate you all coming in and showing that love. It means the world to me, guys. Yeah, Floppy, I'm definitely enjoying it, man. Definitely enjoying it. It's, uh... It's, I was telling people, it's got a good, like, zomboid feel. Been stuck running around in our underwear for the past hour and a half, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Check those two sheds after I finish clearing this. Don did it. See? Now we're covering up. We're starting to cover up a bit. Starting to cover up a bit. guys there it is uh winter hat we'll grab that for winter
Yeah, this helmet is actually pretty disgusting when it comes to armor. Claude, thank you so much. Holy shit, dude. Just dropped 10 gifted on the channel. Man, you guys are showing so much love today with the damn membership. Seriously. We have so many new channel members. Welcome, everybody. I, I do plan on playing more scum. Uh, I heard that there was a big update, but then I heard a lot of people also saying that the game is not in the the greatest shape right now, that they're waiting for some fixes to come through. But um, I, I think I might try scum when it hits the 1.0 release. We'll probably give it a go. Uh, I already got one of those, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, died. Now, the cool thing is we got a battery. I think it's in a car, right? So we'll throw a battery in that bad boy. And then we should have light. On a Pacific drive key. Bobby, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I'm really bad at getting like keys and stuff, man. I don't even know. How. I, I I have the worst luck when it comes to like getting in touch with developers and stuff. Throw that antibiotics. <sighs> keep one of those on me. I'm trying to figure out what I what I want to keep on us for right now. I uh, will bring some food. We don't have any water at the moment. George, what's up, brother? How you doing? Ah, oh, Floppy, I appreciate that, brother. Alright, so let's grab our battery. I don't know if this is gonna work with the flashlight. Oh, I think oh you gotta put it in your bag, right? Right click, charge. Boom. There it is. Carry the ammo on me. I mean, realistic, I could probably grab all of this stuff because we're not coming back here. At least for a while. So we'll just grab all that. We got a big backpack. We got space. Let's figure out where we're going to go from here. So I could go back to where we were. Um... We're not going to the south. I was thinking of maybe instead of staying where we stayed the last time outside of this city. Um, actually, I, don't, I didn't mind the city, guys. I was thinking about maybe continuing up the highway a bit. See what's here in this little intersection place. Because I want to live somewhere relatively close to a merchant, too. So we could live like center D5, have two merchants on the sides of us, plus we'll have this whole... Yeah, yeah, I think we might move up here more like in the middle of D5. In between the two merchants. And we'll see how that is. And then we'll kind of be centralized. We'll have all three towns right around us. You know what I mean? Uh, you could break down clothes. Oh, it does say dismantle. All right, let's keep it moving. Try 
try the military base. I don't feel like we're ready yet. I got like eight whole arrows. My cheeks are still kind of hanging out the bottom of the, the shirt. So we're not we're not completely decent yet, guys. Well, I wanted to check that food right there. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely when uh, Sons of the Forest 1.0 releases in February, I'll be I'll be we'll be doing a playthrough of it. Okay, so none of this is lootable. That's unfortunate. Couple more cabins and stuff, but not really worth our time. That big guy's down there. I don't really want to mess with that. Yeah, the issue where we were living current um, had no um, animals. So I'm, I don't know if maybe if we push a bit north in the D5, if we'll see some. We did see a bunch of animals down here um, in like G6. There was a lot of deer there. Cryptic, what's up, brother? Right when you're getting the butt. The butt shot. I I don't do this on purpose, guys. That's literally how like the camera angle goes. Like when you start running, it like pulls down into this like weird like downward trajectory. So I gotta like look down in order to stop it from doing that. We're starting to get thirsty. Um, shit, I thought I looted some beer. Now we're gonna have to figure something out for something to drink. Worst case scenario, we'll just have to slurp up some of the dirty water, but uh, the issue is I don't have the... Uh, I looted a bunch of stomach pills last time we were in that medical spot, but we have none this time. So if we drink some dirty water, we're going to be SOL. Canned fruit meat. What? Rich canned fruit meat. Ah, uh, House Goblin, I appreciate it. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Thank you for popping in. All right, we're going to cross the bridge here. I'm trying not to sprint because I don't want to make my thirst go down a bit. Does anybody know activity and stamina usage drains your uh, thirst and hunger faster? Bridge looks clear. Ooh. Beautiful. If you 
put on more clothes that they're still going on? Seriously? Or are you just trying to get me to take my clothes off? I, I know I, I haven't watched uh, I, I don't really watch IGN stuff anymore Travis <laughs> The flash boss fight was too fast paced <laughs> That's pretty funny if they really said that Yeah, we're fucking we're running in slow motion, dude. Okay, we run f faster without uh, shit in our hand. Check these cars at the intersection here. pretty clear here no zombies in the intersection some canned meat find a little bit of food Nothing to drink at the moment. Uh, this game does have multiplayer and it does also have PvP if you choose. I'm playing the single p player version right now though. Might have to sip some water, guys. I don't think I'll be able to make it all the way down this road. We'll keep going if things get desperate before we get down there. I'll, I'll, I'll take a swig of this, but the food poisoning, I don't know how long it lasts without taking the pills. I don't know what the, the downsides of it are. Oh, Jasmine, hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the video. Seriously. Kills your stamina and stamina regen. Okay, well, as long as it's not going to kill our actual body then we, we can we can survive that oh here we go we got a truck <laughs>
I don't even know why I fucking open my mouth anymore, chat. Like, why do I even talk? Uh, dial up with the super chat. Um, will I be doing a lethal zone guide for State of Decay 2? It's funny you ask that, Dylan, because I've actually recorded two episodes as of today. Uh, I ordered, I got about each episode's probably about an hour and 40 minutes so far, so we got a good bit. Uh, that's actually what I was doing right before we started this. But yeah, I got two, two episodes recorded um, for the new lethal zone guide. You guys don't gotta rub it in that my truck's forever gone. I, I, what do you mean? Why did I push it in the river? Like that? that like you think you think I wanted that to happen? But yeah, when it comes to the guide, I don't know exactly. Oh, yeah, we got the gas station here. We got a gas station. Oh. Might be able to survive. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to upload the guide. Like, obviously, within the near future, it will be uploaded for sure. Uh, I just don't have, like, can't. I'm not like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll be uploading it tomorrow. Probably within the next week or so, I'm going to start uh, uploading videos, but... I'm actually pretty glad I didn't upload episode one yet because I actually had to make a an edit to it because I forgot to talk about something in the beginning that I realized during episode two. So like during episode two, I was like, I was like trying to explain to you guys. I was like, you know what, guys, let me just go add this to episode one. I like go and I like edit it and then uh, I'm going to like clip it out, put it in episode one and whatnot. But yeah. Okay, so now we are thirsty, but doesn't look like there's too many zombies here, so we should be okay. Okay, I say that, and then now there's too many zombies here. Holy shit, dude. That's a spitter one right there. Boom. A little bit of work with the bow and arrow now. Okay, these are all slow walkers. Are oh, we looking on stem or water to 17?
Went much better, guys, when we were prepared. Hopefully we got something to drink in this damn place. Ah, right there. Bottle of water, baby. Let's grab that. Good stuff. Large bottle of water. Hell yes. All right, so let's go ahead. Get this in us. <sighs> Hunger wise, we're still pretty good. We'll hold off on eating for right now. We're, we're still pretty decent on our numbers. Station has a cooler? Where? Nothing in here. Okay, so let's see. Goals to get up here centered on D5. Good thing, too, is if we get closer to the water, we'll, we'll be able to... I don't know if you like can boil dirty water or whatnot in this one. Need to cook. Okay. So yeah, if we can we can do that, then we should be alright. Move a little bit more towards the the shore here. We'll be further away from this big town, but we'll be closer to this stuff here, so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Do I think this could be a good single player game? So Joey, I'm playing the single player right now. Yeah, I have um I'm not playing it. There's no multiplayer element in the vert. Like you can legit just select single player. There's no online function, no nothing. And it's it's I I think it's a really good single player game. I'm having a great time. So we based up right on this hill here last time. our way over this it's a good run guys holy crap that's a good run right, we got we got food and water so i'm not too worried about it just gonna have to keep it moving i played call of duty black ops the original one yeah i played that way back in the day My pants, I mean, you can barely tell I'm not wearing pants, right? Unless I start sprinting. That's when we release the cheeks. But other than that.
Uh, so this isn't an MMO. Um, this is a new, I would say it is a zombie survival game, uh, but not an MMO. It's a big building right there. I wonder how much of that you can explore. Damn, we're uh, not even halfway there. You know what I'm going to do, though? Crap, I can't. We got to have a... I was going to build, like, a little bed. No, I can't. I just got to build a building hammer, right? We need a log. God damn. That shit almost killed me. It's organized enough. All right, so we'll use this hammer. Huh? What is it? Welcome. All right, so. Throw one of those down. So we need wooden sticks. So I'm building a bed just in case we something happens to us and we die. We don't have to run from all the way across the map or wherever the hell it randomly respawns us. And you know what? We'll grab a couple hours of sleep. Right, Miguel, thank you, thank you for the gifted. And I appreciate it. The backpack of a loot goblin. <laughs> Okay, so hunger, thirst, so we're a little thirsty, a little hungry. Um,
These are like really good food. So I'm gonna, we'll eat one of these. This should hook us up big time, right? Yeah, I said it is my spawn point. Yeah, see how much bigger my stamina bar is now? Can you make a campfire? I believe you can. Um, I don't know if it's done in the build menu, though. Oh, yeah, outdoor campfire, yeah. Yeah, so you can build a campfire, you build wooden gates, you can build a log cabin, a quarry... A livestock farm. Whoa, hold on. So this is some of that stuff that um, control center, medical room, recreation room, a hand cart. Ooh, guys. That might be it. That might be the answer. NPC buildings. What do you mean NPC buildings? You could have NPCs. I was told that there's a lot to this game um, that once I dig into it, I'll, I'll, I'll understand, but. You rescue them from bandits? Oh, like the mist? I know the mist had NPC, so you could build a little community. Is it bad? Okay, guys, so before we head up into D5, uh, no, I can't afford it because I don't have any space. I was going to say, I'll hit this farm, but we'll come back down here um, and loot this area out later. Looks like a nice spot. Yeah, that cart definitely seems like it might be the meta, guys. I don't know if you can, like, put, like, what you can put in it. Wow, this area is big. Bunch of little houses and stuff down there for us to go through. Yeah, that'll be a nice place to go check. So it's going to be our new stomping grounds. Trying to see if there's any wildlife in this area that we'll be able to hunt. Those mushrooms? Oh, I think I might have found some mushrooms. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. We found some mushrooms that we could eat. Hopefully, they're not poisonous. <laughs> I played something for you. I got a couple playthroughs on the channel of it. Um, if you go back and check my playlist, yeah, we got a lot of uh, Sons of the Forest on the channel right now. Uh, I plan on doing another playthrough of it as soon as the 1.0 drops in February. We'll be doing a full playthrough of that. So far, nothing in the wildlife department in this area, at least. Deer are south. Got a big bridge over there. So that's. Fucking scared the goddamn shit out of me, dude. Okay, well, we found some deer. That's good. We'll just let the kids go. Uh, no one know. Want to see what it takes here to hunt some of these deer because it's the area we're going to be living in. So we know we got wildlife here, which is good. Oh, that was pretty simple. So, to skin this, we got to get a knife. There it is.
Okay. Whoa, wow. That's a lot of meat. Hopefully these mushrooms don't make us sick. See if we can rearrange our bag at all to make this work. Trying to get as much of the meat as I can. Uh, so throw another piece right there. Probably don't need three of these toolboxes right now, if I'm being honest. Just eat these mushrooms right now. Uh, I hate Tetris. It's my, my, my least favorite game in the entire planet. If you guys can't tell already. One space for that. Up oh, and get this meat here. Boom. How big is this fur? Uh, we'll leave the fur. It is what it is. I uh, grab those coffee beans. So we're leaving two coffee beans behind, and some of this crap. But who knows? Maybe it'll still be here when we if we when we come back. It's not it's not the end of the world, but. I'm happy that uh, we got some deer meat. Got some rabbits over here, it looks like. Plenty of deer. 
Oh, we got water down here. That's what we're gonna base next to. Yeah, so we got we got food, guys. We got water. We can build uh <laughs> Actually, it is the end of the world. <laughs> Kind of survive right off the land here. <clears throat> uh, Hilo boy, thank you, thank you so much for the five months. No need for pants. Well, we've we've played for what two hours and eighteen minutes without pants so far, and for the first like hour and a half, we didn't even have a shirt. Wait, Dad, you had to restart. Cause, did you die? No, I had to change world settings. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna build here, guys. This is where it all is going to start. Um, how are we gonna do this? Let me see. Gotta make a little space for logs. Hey. Think I think we can hold logs right there. Need a new axe. Yeah, so we're about to build up we're about to build a little bit of a base right now. Get get things started. Guys know me, Meta Base Builder 9000. It's okay, it's a little too small. That there. There it is. I don't remember how many of these stack up to. I think five is the max. Yeah, five is the max. So let's get that going first. I'm gonna make you guys proud with this build. I'm gonna make you guys proud with this build.
Thirsty again, dude. Okay. I need to make space so I can carry a bit more stuff. Uh... So I should be able to carry two stacks of logs with that. No, we don't have to make as many trips. <laughs> Gotta watch out for these damn trees falling. They will kill your ass. What is this? Protein. Oh, trust me, I got plenty of protein in my inventory right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get some storage done up once we uh we get building here. The reason why I didn't want to build a handcart yet is for well, I can't build a handcart. I need eight simple parts. Um, which I don't have. I have only three. And if I can't build the cart right now, um, I can at least build normal base storages. So that's uh that's where we stand right now when it comes to that. But yeah, you need eight of the uh the simple parts in order to build a cart. And I, I don't have it. I would have dropped all my stuff, but I don't. I don't know what the respawn timer is, or if whether stuff's gonna despawn. I don't. I don't like to just trust in a game. Um, so I dropped the stuff that I don't mind losing. Everything else, I don't really want to risk right now. Shit. Just need some stones. It's coming along good, guys. We already almost got the foundation done, which is... This is bigger than what we built last episode, right? Okay, 
couple more. And the foundation is done. Yeah, see, see, that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to show, I'm trying to show chat that I'm really about this life. I'm trying to show you guys that I'm really about this base building life. See, look at that, guys. Already, already getting there. Now we're not gonna build walls yet. I, relax, chat. Relax. Like, right this second, because I need to get some storage going, okay? So, um... Let's do this. Oh, I gotta research it. There will be walls, but... Mm, how come I can't unlock that? Do I have no points? I got a building hammer in my hand. It... No, 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 it won't let me research it. Search costs the materials. One log three. Got you, got you. Oh. I, so the re So in order to research all this stuff, all I need to do is have the proper materials. So there's no like skill. That makes things. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, so I just had to grab some stone then. I thought there was like skill points. Uh, and then you like invested this like arc, you know, like the engrams. I thought that's what it was, but no, this is this is different. Bunch of deer up here, guys. We're set when it comes to food, man. Realistically, I can empty my freaking inventory of this meat. It's not like it's gonna be hard to come by. I don't know what the respawn rate is on the deer, but we got plenty. What I'm going to do is, uh, and yeah, somebody asked about the meat. The meat does go bad over time.
I don't know if there's any like drying racks or something like that either. If you could preserve your meat. So now, learn that, learn that. Go ahead, build this. Okay. Uh, we need one of these toolboxes. Okay. Now, for right now, what we can do is uh, load this bad boy up. With that, get some planks going. Just temporary, guys. It's just temporary until I until I get all this stuff built up, and then and then we're good. Then we're gonna be good to go. Um, I should look into crafting a campfire too. Is a campfire what I can cook at and, and boil water and shit? Can you put a campfire indoors too? Okay, so we just need one stick. need a couple sticks too for my drop one of these pieces of meat for right now okay there we go So I could use this firewood. Uh, I'll probably throw a log in there would probably be my best bet. Logs on there. Now, what if the meat burns? What? What? What do you mean failed recipe? God 
Damn it, I just burnt the little nugs. Now watch this shit. So you got to be pretty quick cooking the meat. Burns very, very fast. Like stagger them. It's all my meat. Okay, so now, uh, pull this up here. Get my storage as planned out. So we're yeah, we'll do our storage is right here. So can you not stack storages on top of each other? I don't think so. Uh, there's a rack for stacking Okay. I mean, for right now, this is fine. We'll just we'll just roll with this. We just we just need something, some kind of storage, you know what I mean? Let me see. What does that shelf require? Is it something I got to learn? Oh, maybe it's this right here. Is it the wooden box frame? Oh, I need engineering level one. How do you get in? Oh, is that where the skill books come into play? Okay, yeah, so I can't do it right now anyways because I don't have engineering level one, but now we know engineering level one We'll be able to build that so we can't do it right now though It's all good. We got these two crates. They'll hold plenty of stuff. Uh, we're gonna do our food crate here Food and water I got enough resources to do one more chest. Hmm. I hate the snapping. Why can't... Is there a way to just put it down where I... Oh, wait, right there, G. Okay, I can just turn snapping off and put it wherever the hell I want. 
Probably should have done that with those two. Now we know. Now we know. But you can't just pick up and move stuff either, can you? you can't, that's why I was wondering if you can move them. I don't, I don't think you can. I think you gotta demolish them and then rebuild them. But it's all good. So we got these boxes here. Got our food and water and stuff in here. Drop that. Um, and then we'll just put all the rest of this stuff in here for right now. All of our medical and stuff like that will keep separate crafting resources we're going to put here. Yeah, screw it. It'll be alright. Yeah, crafting resources and random shit like this. And then our usable stuff like medical, this type of stuff, ammo, we'll put in here for right now. Okay, so now I want to check. I got an empty bottles of water right here, right? So I got these empty bottles. I want to see if we can fill them at the water. I'm cleaning myself up right now. Okay. Drag container there to fill. Boom. And boom. So those are both filled with dirty water. I have horde mode on, but I have it set to 10 days. Now, can I boil these here? Shit, no, I need a cooking pot, don't I? Hmm. Hmm. My dirty water I'll keep down here just so we know where it is. Kind of sucks. Yeah, we're going to make a bed here. Oh, well, we're really, really thirsty and hungry, so let's eat and drink real quick. We're low on protein. Let me see if what happens if we cook the, the the meat can. Can we cook that here? Nope. Can we cook it here? Can we cook it here? Yep. So maybe you boil the water in these spots, guys. I'm going to check that afterwards. I don't know if you'll know when this is ready. There we go. Rich stew. <sighs> yeah, we got to get our water situation figured out. Let me see if we can boil this water in the cook slots. Whoop, oh, a fire went out. Damn it. Nope. So definitely, so what do you just loot a cooking pot? 
kind of like uh, Sons of the Forest. Okay, let's finish getting filled up. Uh, so we ate a bunch of food, man. But your food is, is broken up weird. It's not just like overall hungry. You have your carbohydrates and then you have your protein. And you kind of got to like satisfy both of them. So obviously we got a bunch of protein right now in us. But carbs we need to get from like veggies. So it's like, yeah, we could live off this area pretty well, but we gotta we gotta figure out something with uh with like gardening. Uh, we got seeds on the last map, so we're gonna have to go around and see if we can find. Uh, there was that farm down here. I think we might be able to get some seeds from there, and that'll help out big time. All right, let's get this base squared away really quick. I only have one can of veg, that's why I was kind of holding off on that. I picked up most of the dropped items, yeah, that I remembered where they were at least. Okay, let's see how much work we could do now with this. Okay, so a lot of the walls and stuff are all going to be made out of, um... The hell? Why can't this go there? No load-bearing structure? What the fuck is that talking about? load-bearing structure, dude. Chad, what? Come on, dude. You mean I gotta build pillars and shit? Guy, I barely know how to fucking build a base without that shit. What is going on? This is it, guys. This is our base. What do you guys want from me, dude? But I, I don't. I, I'm not a structural engineer. I'm a fucking YouTuber. I play video games, dude. Whoa, Hudzil, dude. No, oh, you did not have to. You already dropped like a hundred the other day, Hudzil. Seriously, you are. Oh my god, that is so generous, dude. Hudzil just came and dropped another twenty gifted on the channel, guys.
The pillars you have to build a frame, then put the walls inside it. So what, like that? And then... It's just too easy, chat. I'm a motherfucking structural engineer. I do this. I build bases. Easy, guys. Like, I was worried about it. Oh, this is what three, yeah. So, we'll do this and then this, then this. this. We got a lot of windows shut. I want, I want that natural light. This one, no, we'll just do the one. Uh, we'll do one there. That one doesn't need it. of them who doubted me. Yeah, back porch would be nice. That's actually I might I might edit this at some point. There it is, chat. Base is built. Now I don't even need to fill it in. I could just have it like this and it'll just look like the base. And you guys won't even know. It looks like a base, right? Forgot the roof. What do you mean the roof? Need some planks. So those posts actually just need logs. Let's go grab some of those real quick. There are racks you can build to store bulk wood materials. 
That's the good stuff. Yeah, once we go out, we're going to do a loot run and hopefully get one of those carts built. We need to get a lot of simple parts. Get one of those carts built, and that will really help around, around base. Second time I almost died to a fucking tree. I, wanna, I should probably build my bed right now, guys. I've been slacking. Let's get that bed down, too. Put that bad boy right here. That way we can respawn here. Furniture. Damn, these these ones are expensive, guys. We're just going to do this this one right here. The other ones take fabric and shit. I'm not about that life. Okay. So I need a couple more fibers. I think I had some more in here, right? Yep. There it is. And then we'll set this bad boy. That one, nice, nice. Actually, wasn't too bad building out all this. Need one more wooden stick. Okay, so all the walls are going to require wood stick. Let's grab a handful of these. Making hammers, not planks. What do you mean I'm making hammers, not planks? Huh? Oh. Fuck that, dude. We need planks, bro. That would have sucked. Need some more uh 
axes, but it's coming together smooth, guys. Look at this. Coming together smooth. I wanted to get out and do another loot run, but I don't know if we're going to have time. Hudson, oh, no way, dude. Anyways, Brian thought I'd come stop by real quick and bless a couple folks with a membership. Hope everyone is having a good day. Going to go watch a NHL game Oilers versus Blackhawks. There it Later is. chat. Peace out, Brian. Let's <laughs> go, Blackhawks. Hanzo, thank you for the love, man. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Seriously, dude, that is so generous, man. Hearts in the chat, guys. Hudzilla here showing mega love. We also got to build a pickaxe, guys. Pickaxe. Damn it. All right, we gotta get some stone. In my Puerto Rican, no, I'm not Hispanic at all. Um, my mother is like German and Polish and um, French, and all, just all types of mixed. And then my father is African American. So I am a uh, mulatto. I think that's the term. I'm just, I just say I'm, I'm just mixed. I'm just mixed. So I need to craft up some axes and pickaxes. Because once we craft up the pickaxes, the pickaxes actually make the stone gathering easy mode. So let's do that right now. Do one pickaxe right now. Uh, yeah, we'll swap that out for that. And move that there, that there. And then we got two spots for axes. It's a beautiful thing. I need one more stone, though, to do. Yes, yeah, so that's only one axe. Yeah, see, we got stone here, too. We can farm up. Nah, it's true, Army Kelly. It's definitely true. Damn, we got a whole bunch right there. That's so easy. Val, how you doing? Oh, the cryopod thing. I, I mean, I use the cryopods how like uh, like I do for for a different reason though, Val. Um, I use it for mainly uh, so I don't just bring overpowered dinos into like like you know thylas into caves and things like that because there is a big difference you know when I'm uh, you know having to actually use some of the smaller tames that I've never had a, an opportunity to use because I never needed them. Um, I would just resort back to doing the same old thing that I always do. So that is my reason for it is just my personal. Um, enjoyment you know what i mean like i'm enjoying the way i'm playing the game and if i if i simplified use change the crowd pots i would just go back into what i always done you know i'd bring thylas into caves i'd bring this into that and i would just resort back to doing that and uh that was the only thing i was trying to avoid and the reason why i never did it okay so i got those is my character naked from the waist down no no what do you mean we got it's just a glitch it's just a glitch. Mm. Yeah, you know what? We'll be all right.
Watch out for these damn trees. Mosa, what's going on? Thank you for the re-up on the membership. How have you been? Gotta watch out for these exploding trees. Now, the only thing I'm worried about here is this carbohydrates thing. What happens when my carbs hit zero? Like, I, I'll have protein to still eat, but what do I do when the carbs hit zero? Do you still just die? That was the only annoying thing about the eating system in, in Scum. It was like... Bro, is it, like, yeah, you might not be the healthiest person in the world, but you could live just eating meat, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like when the game forces you to have, like, a well-balanced diet, it's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, we gotta drink some water, but my water supply is getting quite low too. We're at the to... probably start taking some swigs off dirty water here soon. Oh, so we can craft multiple, yeah, of the old stuff in here. So let's get some more planks going. Okay, never mind. It's full. So both of those are actually done plank-wise. So let's cancel these planks for right now. Uh, I got these ones here. Don't need them. Boom, boom. We just need a handful of sticks. Chop the tree trunks down. What, do you get stuff from that? Oh, you get an extra log. Look at that. So finally that shit is done. <laughs> store that. Store that. That, that, that. Then we need to eat and drink. Um, 
I think I can get carbs out of this too, right? Oh yeah, we can get carbs out of this. <laughs> carbs out of this. And then... So we'll eat this. All right, that got us in good shape. Uh, we need water and food pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to store up all my tools. We'll store this stuff in here for right now. Uh, keep my knife on me just in case we kill a deer or something out in the field. Got our bow. Now I should be able to bolt crap arrows, right? Uh, on the bench. Do I like this or DayZ more? I mean, this is more of a single player game, so I enjoyed this a bit more than a game like DayZ. Um, but I mean, they're both quite, quite, they have their, you know, the things I like. Now, if I wanted to engage with players and have that tense, you know, DayZ feel, gameplay, you know what I mean? Then obviously, but when it comes to like single player survival stuff, yeah, this game's definitely. And another, another stick in... I mean, I did just grab some more sticks right there, Caspi, to, to make some arrows. <laughs> Mechanic skill proficiency raising. And so we're gaining skill by uh, having those craft... All right, we got arrows. Uh, we're going to make sure we got medicine. I used my heels because I got absolutely shredded by a tree twice. Got that. Grab water for the road. A little bit of food for the road, too, just in case. Wow. 
But I'm pretty sure this game will have the same issue that almost all survival games have, is it's like the end game. Um, it's like once you have all the guns and you have all the stuff, then what? I think this one has a base siege mechanic, like seven days to die, which is pretty cool. Um, so that gives you something to build up and at least fight against. Uh, but even after doing that for a while, it's like, then what? You know what I mean? Um, because that that was the issue I had with, with a game like Scum. Scum was an amazing survival game too. But once you got the guns, you ran the bunkers, it was like, then what? You know what I mean? Um, there just was nothing else to do. Uh, and it got boring really, really quick. So that was the issue I had with uh, with, with these type of games. Is Just once you do everything, it's just there's nothing left to do. Just is what it is. I'm going to carry these two sticks here. Uh, I'll grab these sticks and we'll carry these. Uh, we'll sleep for three hours. There we go. Uh, yeah, but so that was so this game had um, this game has NPCs and stuff like that. The traders give you missions, which is pretty cool, and that's what I'm waiting for from Scum. I think that would make Scum a phenomenal game if they go ahead and add like NPCs and missions, something more to do than just go out loot, go out loot, go out loot, because that's all there really is to do in survival games like this. Um, and yeah, when they add that extra dynamic to the games, we're actually closer to go down this way and see what's here first. Just to collect sticks and stones again. <laughs> we're gonna have to swig some dirty water here. I got a feeling, chat. My carbohydrates are low as hell. There's really nothing we can do about that. A lot more PvE stuff coming into Scum. That would be great. Like I said, uh, I feel like that's what what games, survival games, need is they just need um, these sand like sandbox survival games are a ton of fun because you know if you're a very creative person, it, there's a lot to do early game, and that's why most people, most games like Scum and stuff like that, you'll see they always do server wipes. Daisy, they always do server wipes um, because they force people back into that fresh playthrough because that's where all the gameplay is. Is in the games, these type of games are very, very front and middle heavy, but there's really not a whole lot of end game for survival games because it's like what the, the build up is the fun part the going out, gathering resources, building your base, organizing, getting everything squared away, building all that efficiency. And then, but then it's like once you're operating at 100%. You got guns, you got ammo, you got food, you got this, you have nothing else that you need. Then it's just like, hmm, what do I do now? You know what I mean? It's just, and then you, you, you get bored. There's really not much to do. Um, bandit camp. Yeah. Keep an eye out for mushrooms. Yeah, we could, we could scout for the mushrooms here in the forest. Do some foraging. Up, oh, up, oh, right some right here. But it's every every single survival game has that same end game issue. Uh because it's just the nature of how the games are designed. You know what I mean? Um State of Decay, like, it even has the same issue once you get end game. I have not yet played a, stand, a survival game that had just a perfect end game. Um, even Zomboid, you know what I mean? Zomboid was the same way. And that's why I feel like a lot of these games introduce PvP also. Because what does PvP do? It forces you to lose everything and have to go out and get stuff again. You know what I mean? So, that's like... That, that's how they kind of approach these type of games. And it's not necessarily, uh, there's, there's not a whole lot of longevity in it.
Okay, so let's eat some of these mushrooms real quick. This will help out our carbohydrates a little bit. Not a whole lot, though. Okay, so we got this area here that I wanted to scout. It's closest to my base. I don't know what the hell is going to be here. Uh, definitely got some zombies. Uh, we have yet to find a single gun. A lot of zombies, actually. Okay, we got, what, one sprinter? Is that a dog? Oh, come on, dude. Damn, there's a lot of fucking zombies here, man. Yep, definitely a zombie dog. Spear's about to break. Jank ass animation was that? Oh. There's a lot of fucking zombies here, dude. All the homies showed up. Five arrows left. Oh, 
So we'll be good here if I get some... Another spear crafted up. We haven't found any pants yet. <laughs> yeah, we just haven't found any pants yet. Yeah, I no, I agree completely, guys. Um if they fix the aggro and the the stealth, um game will feel a lot a lot better because right now yeah there's no like the zombies just see you and hear you like no matter what like you can crouch and stuff and it doesn't really change anything I climb this there we go yeah, at least they don't see you through walls Except this guy, he's seen me through the wall. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Flashlights. <laughs> Condenser. No clue what the hell that's used for, but we'll grab it. Dog food. Water. Nice. Veggies in a can. Electrical volume five. We need an engineering, right? Oh, we got pants. There it is, chat. We got pants, baby. It only took the whole episode. Well, they're not pants, they're shorts, but so. Close enough. All right, so it's a lock safe in here. We just need a pick lock, but we don't have any on us right now. We still don't have shoes, though. Aggro as fuck.
spear is almost done. Nice, got some more simple parts. Another condenser. Don't know what that's for. I'm not gonna grab the second one because they take up a lot of space. We'll have our carbohydrate situation under control too once we get some uh, farming done. We've got to get some seeds. And we do have that farm location to the south of my base. Blueprint sewing machine. Oh, is that something I can actually loot? Oh, nice. Got a lock pick. I could go back and hit that safe. Go back over here and hit that safe. Yeah, a gun in the safe would be nice. Get what pot? You guys seen a pot somewhere? Oh, it was just a picture. <laughs> yeah, those pots. Yeah, I, I scrolled over. None, none of those, like, lit up. Those aren't lootable. <clears throat> Got the big house over there. Damn dog. I don't know how bad those things are. Good thing is that at least when you put in work to clear an area out of the zombies, it stays relatively clear. Shit. Got one arrow, dude. So what we can do is we can work on this dude in melee. Right? He's a walker. Oh. Okay. That was a bad idea. I, I thought it would take more than one poke. But we just got infected. Got antibiotics. But 
Yeah, I was saying, uh, it's cool because at least when you put in work to clear an area, it stays. Whoa. Decently clear. Like the zombies don't just pop back in instantly. Okay, got one lock pick. The hell am I? sucks generally pretty decent at those two but that lockpick broke pretty fast oh, God damn. We got a bunch of shit that we can come back and search over there. But we got to get this loot back to, to base right now. Um, I did get a couple of uh, cans of food that we could use to, to raise our carbohydrates. Yeah, so we got a, bit, a little bit of food, but nothing crazy. Um... Loot wise, it wasn't like a game changer. But we did get some parts. Uh, we need to figure out water. Then yeah, we need engineering, stuff like that. So we could do the gastric medicine if we find some of those medicinal herbs. But we're going to end this here, guys. Um,. I'm going to save. We'll make the walk back next episode. Or we'll dump stuff. And then next episode is going to be strictly looting. Um, maybe trying to locate a car in the area that we can start putting work into. But that's going to be the goal, guys. That's going to be the goal. Wash frequent. Uh, or the zombies can smell me. Is that actually a thing, dude? Oh, no, I appreciate it, Caspi. I'll check it out, man. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. But I'll be doing another stream, guys. I'm going to go eat some food. And then um, I'll be back with one more stream tonight. I'll probably play some GTA. Uh, so thank you guys again. If you want to see more of this game, all you got to do is smash that like button, subscribe. We'll keep it rolling. Seems like you guys have been enjoying it, so that's that's good. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, like I said, subscribing really really helps out. So many of you guys have been actually subscribing to the channels. Uh, I want to thank all the new channel members or all the gifted membership today. That was that was absolutely mind blowing. You guys are amazing. Uh, but hopefully, I'll see a bunch of you guys in the next stream again. I love you all. It means a lot. All right, but thank you, thank you again, guys. If you're not going to be in the next stream, you have a great rest of your night. And for everybody else, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.